guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig, it's six o'clock, it's time for a Magic Live. Now today I'm gonna to be doing The System by Michael Murray. Now this is one of the <clears> big <throat> hits from the Blackpool Magic Convention 2024. Uh, this is the one that a lot of people think it was a trick of the convention and a lot of people have said that this is a trick that really can make you look like you can do real mind reading. We're gonna put that to the test as I try to do real mind reading on a man who has no mind. How you doing, Jack? Sorry, I didn't realise Matt was there. <laughs> Good to see you, buddy. Uh, I'm going to show you something incredible. Okay. And it's all to do with two things. One, I want to I want to create a really random scenario here. And also, I want to do it in a way where you're making all of the choices. Okay. The only choice I don't want you to make, it's about a playing card. I don't want to take a deck of cards out and have you pick a card. I also don't want you to just think of a card, because psychologically, there's certain cards that are very popular. So we're going to go for it in a really random way. And we can do that with these poker chips. Now, I picked these up last time I was over in the States. They're from Vegas when I went to Magic Live last year. <clears throat> one of them's worth $50, one of them's worth $10. Nice. To be honest, the poker chips aren't important. <coughs> What's important is where they're from. You can see they're from a uh, 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 place in, in Vegas called the Desert Spa. Not a particularly big casino, but it was... Um, I quite like the design of the chips. When you hold them like this... Very colourful. Yeah, when you hold them like this so you can see the writing, so not when it's upside down but the right way up. They're basically the same on both sides in that there's, there's words, as you can see. There's two white words on either side of the chip on both sides. In a bit, we're going to be working with those white words. Okay. Okay? But the first thing is, like I said, you're going to make all the decisions. So start off by taking these two chips. You're going to put them behind your back. You're going to mix them up so even you don't know which one's which. Then you're going to bring them up and put them on the table. Okay. okay? You take them behind your back and do that. That would be absolutely tickety-boo. Tickety-boo. Yeah. And while you're doing that, I will tell everyone a joke. Oh, God. Would you like to see my impression of a campfire? Oh, I'm burning. Please, sorry, I'm dying on my arse. Get out. Thank you. <laughs> right. So, two chips. Like I said, all the decisions are yours. The first decision, when I snap my fingers, you are going to take one of the chips. Okay. Okay. Uh, without looking at it, but you can take one of the chips away. It's up to you. You can have this one or this one. Can you do that right now? Yep. Perfect. Now, the, the next decision, because like I said, there are multiple decisions to make. The next decision, would you like to switch that chip for this one? You can do if you want to. If you don't want to, you don't have to. I'll stick. Okay. And put that one out of the way. So I'm going to look away, Michael. I want you to see that I am looking away through the whole of this. Yeah. There are two reasons for this. I don't want to see anything that Jack's doing, and I don't really want to look at Jack either. That's the main reason. <laughs> so, um, Jack, I'm looking away now. What I want you to do is I want you to take that chip, and you can look at the value now because I'm not looking. That's absolutely fine. And then you've got two options here. The first option is you can you can spin and flick that chip up in the air so it lands on a random side. The other option is, if you want to, you could just turn it over and over again, because I've seen you spin a coin, and frankly, it's embarrassing. Um, so I want to give you an easy out on camera. It's completely up to you. Would you like to spin or turn? No, I'm going <clears> to <throat> spin. Go for it. Dude, you've been practicing. How's the spinning looking, Jack? Did he do well? Michael? He did, and he caught it. Nice, just dude. About. Yeah. <laughs> just about. <laughs> right. So you're now looking at a side. Yep. Yeah? Uh, hold it so you can see it. So you can see the writing as well, so it's orientated the correct way. And the next decision, and you don't have to tell me if you do this or not, it's completely up to you. But the next decision that you have to make is if you want to, you can turn it one more time and look at a different side. If you want to do that, you can. It's completely up to you. If you don't want to, you don't have to. It's, it, you don't have to let me know either. But you've settled on a side now, is that right? Yep. Cool. So I pointed out the two white words at the bottom. You did? There's one on the left, there's one on the right. You're going to be working with one of those words. <coughs> I'm going to leave it to chance. The poker chip is worth a value. I know you know what that value is now. If you have a 10, you're working with the word on the left. If you have a 50, you're working with the word on the right. Okay. Okay. Whichever word you're working with, I want you to change just that word to the opposite of what it is. So if you're looking at, I don't know, um, even, you'd change it to odd. If you were looking at low, you'd change it to high. You get the idea, right? Yep. So now we've completely randomized everything because now you're looking at a word, I don't know which word, that you've changed over in your head. The other word, the one that you didn't um, choose to work with, that stays the same. Okay. So we now have two words that you're looking at, right? Yep. One that you changed and one that you stayed the same. Use those two words to think of a value of a card. Okay. 
Now, it's safe to say I couldn't know that value because I don't know which chip you took. Uh, I don't know which way you flicked it. I don't know which word you changed. I don't know anything. But I know you're thinking of a value. Is that correct? I am. We're going to use that value. Actually, we should come up with a suit for it as well. Let's randomize the choice of the suit as well. Because I don't know what value you're thinking of, we'll do it like this. There's four suits, clubs, hearts, spades, diamonds. If you're looking at a, if you're thinking of a high odd, go with a club. If you're thinking of a low odd, think of a spade. If you're thinking of a, um, a high even card, go for a heart or a low even card, go for a diamond. Okay. So now you've got a suit and you've got a value. Would you agree that there's no way I can know what that card is? Don't see how. So hold that chip in your hand. I'm going to turn around now. So this is where you get to use your imagination. I want to imagine, imagine that card. Now, seriously, this isn't like I took a deck of cards out and had you pick a card. This isn't like I even got you to just think of a card and you ended up naming one that everybody names. This is a card that through a series of actions and decisions that you made that are totally random, that I am not aware of, you've come up with a card that no one could know other than you because it's locked into your brain. I'm going to make this easy for you, Jack. I want to imagine that I'm holding a card here. I'm holding a card at the tips of my fingers. You're looking at the back of it right now. What is the colour of the back of the card? It's a blue back. It's a blue back. And when I turn it around, you see the face. I want to imagine, I'll make it easy for you. It's the three of spades. Right. I, what? Jack, I'm holding what the, fuck? the three of spades. What was the card you were thinking of? The three of spades. <laughs> what the fuck? Hang on. What? Mike, help me. <laughs> what just happened? I don't get it. How do you know? I'm confused. What's going on? That's broke me. That's broke me. <laughs> you like that one? That's really good. Isn't that great? How do you... you made all the decisions, man. You took I, all I the did. actions. You did everything. You literally went from back of the car to, oh, yeah, it's suffering. You just said it so casually. Yeah. It's because I'm that damn good. What You're can I say? Listener. I'm a mentalist now. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks to wonderful people like Michael Murray, I'm now a mentalist. Anyway, well done, Michael. Uh, that's called The System by Michael Murray, and it is incredible. You just have these uh, chips. You actually get three chips with it, and there's a bunch of different routines, but that's kind of one of the main routines in the project. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. You want to see more videos like this, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Um, and, uh, yeah, if you want to get it, uh, go to Mind Effects. You can get it directly from Michael Murray. Spoiler, it's a good one. Thanks for watching. On behalf of Jack, who's now broken apparently, I'll see you again soon. Craig, Magic TV. Peace out. <laughs>